Welcome, welcome again. In our last video, you were moving objects around, and I had mentioned that the next thing that you would learn about was a concept called inferences. And that's what we're going to focus on. Inferences really allows you to take control over your SketchUp models. And it basically gives you the ability to let SketchUp know what you want to have happen. So bef before we begin practicing, I want you to take uh, just a quick minute, and you may need to pause to do this, but I'm going to orbit and pan so that I can kind of look at my um, SketchUp world from an, a downward angle. I'm just going to take my line tool with L, and I'm going to draw uh, a very basic little staircase. Notice that I was on the blue line. I did not want to be on the blue line. I want red and green. And there we go. Alright, so at this point you should have a staircase. If you don't, hopefully you pause and you do that. Well, we're going to talk about inferencing. The first thing I want you to understand about inferencing is every time I have something drawn and I hover over an area or I move my mouse and you see these dotted lines that's pretty much what inferencing is all about it's Google SketchUp trying to figure out what I want to do when I just draw a regular line and I'm scrolling around and my cursor jumps to let's say the red axis or the blue axis or the green axis that's a way of Google SketchUp inferencing it's trying to guess what I want to do and it's guessing that I want to be on those axis lines. As you have shapes and uh, uh, different objects, you can inference in a lot of different ways as well. So we're going to start with our line tool, and we're going to come into this. Um, we're we're going to go into our staircase. The first thing that you can do is you can inference based on where you are on a line. So notice if I hover over an endpoint, Google SketchUp lets me know I'm on an endpoint. But as I scroll down, a lot of times it will jump and let me know where the midpoint of that line is as well. Because a lot of times when you're working with models and construction, you cut things in half. So I'd like you to put your cursor on the midpoint of one of your end lines and click one time. All right. So now as we uh, drag away we have our line that we're creating the way we create inferences is we hover over points endpoints or lines that we want to reference so for example if I want to create a line that's straight across and lined up with this line I'm gonna come over and hover over this line or endpoint and then as I drag my mouse down you can see that there's a dotted line. And that dotted line lets me know that, that end, the end point of my line segment is in line with that stair. Watch it again. I'm hovering over it. I scroll down, and it's right there. And I can click, go straight up, and I know that's a perfectly 90 degree angle. I can do that with anything. I can start my line here at this end point. I can come all the way over three steps away and hover over the endpoint, drag down, and do the same thing. You want to really practice with this concept. So take some time and hover over different endpoints and draw some different lines and see what you can and cannot do. Now, if you haven't practiced yet, pause and practice. But we can do other things with inferences, not just drawing lines. One of the things that you can do with inferences is figure out where the centers of objects are. So create a rectangle, and right next to it, create a circle. Take your line tool, hover over the line, and find the midpoint. Usually it'll jump to your midpoint. Now, you've found one midpoint. 
drag over and look at another midpoint on your square. Now as I drag up along the face, you can see that I have two inference lines, two dotted lines helping me know I'm in the center of that square. If I click, I can draw a line straight up from the middle of that square. You can do a similar thing with a circle. I'll grab my line tool. Oh, I'm connected, so I have to press Escape, Space, or L. Hover over an endpoint on my circle. Maybe another endpoint. And as I scroll over, a lot of times I should be able to find that center point. But I don't even have to draw. I can just hover over an endpoint on the, on the circle, scroll over, click, and I can draw lines straight up in the air. Now, one of the last things I want to share with infer about inferences is using inferences with a move tool. So take a second, draw a box, and make that box a component. And I'll go a little bit more slowly for the second box because I want you to draw two boxes, one smaller than the other. So another box, push pull it up, triple click, right click, make a component, and create. So let's say I want this little box to be hovering in the air directly aligned with this line on the bigger box. I want to start with my move tool and I want to click one time on the corner of my box. So I'm in the process of, of drawing. If I hover over this line, I can slide out and you can see that I have my red dotted line. And sometimes it messes up. Sometimes you get um, weird in the space. But because I've, I hovered over this line, it has an idea that I want to be lined up with that box. And you can see, if I orbit, I'm indeed lined up. I can even draw a line from endpoint to endpoint. And I'm perfectly in line. So the move tool is really helpful using inferences. You really need to take some time to practice this. So take a few minutes and practice this idea of inferences. Play around with what you can and cannot do um, to inference different things. In our next video we're going to talk about inference locking. So you can actually lock inferences in place in a number of different ways.